Yeah, this is one of Thomas's uh, recordings that uh, I cherish. Now, you, you could notice that it was exactly the, the melody that, you know, the, the vocal melody that Thomas recorded that I used. And now supplied instrumental background. And the instruments are only three that I used. Why that spurs, you know, texture? Now, the spirit is talking. And you can't help but listen. And because the, speak, the spirit is speaking through a muffled voice, listening even has to be more intense. <laughs> okay? Because you are not initiated in the language of spirits, but it's addressing humans, and you want to hear. You want to get as much as you can out of it. And so there's no point to distract the voice with so many instruments. Even the uh, people who accompany the, 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 the spirit will also be initiates who have taken titles to qualify them to get close to the spirit. Otherwise, they may hurt themselves getting near. Okay? So, the instruments that accompany spirits in Oka is the major instrument of Oka people, which is the Krapales bell, Ugene. Okay? In some of my publications, I've mentioned that Kamwaka Yakushi Ugene, Ndo Ibunawa, rather than the Oka man stops playing Ugene music, let Western civilization be damned. Okay? <laughs> Then it also mentioned somewhere, Ejiro Gene do a new job. You don't accompany the weakling with your gene. Because your gene itself has its spiritual importance. And the sound can spark off some reactions that would cause you know you do things that are considered unimaginable, like climbing a palm tree with no aid at all and such, you know, uh, feats. So just two clapperless, two twin clapperless bells are used, okay? One just holding the rhythm, come, 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 come. Then one leading, come, go, come, 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 ting, come, come, ting, come, come, come. Then the time reference is the shakers. That's all you have there. And then the masked singer, which is the spirit, the, you know, spirit manifest, speaking to a muffled voice. I, I, I couldn't think of any, any other better way to do it than to scratch that melody itself from Thomas's recording and play it through. I think, I am not certain, I think that this, you know, spirit manifest is a type that comes out at night, okay? Which in some communities like Enuguku, in the Oka area, and Amobia, if they Ayaka, Mongwabane, you know, night spirit manifest. And so when he moves about like that, you know, uh, uh, singing, he's giving information. He's also possibly uh, reprimanding, scolding and all that, okay, giving, you know, uh, uh, because they are uh, also do, they also do the work of the police in the society, okay, uh, giving instructions on how things should be done and all that and all that, and that's why I'm careful. I was careful about what I did with that, okay. <clears throat> I, initially, I thought I could mimic that voice myself and sing, but I don't even have, you know, clear, distinct picture of all the words used, okay. So. I just put it in there. Sometimes it takes a, in other words, that spirit does not speak in the human voice. And then the second one, we just respond, one, oh, 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 oh. Sometimes these non lexical terms communicate things that the elders will interpret to the young. Didn't you hear it is saying you should go to, to sleep, go to bed, or don't do this and don't do that? And now it says, uh, 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 
if you will, that's, that it says that even when, when he mentions the Iroko, he says it's, it's in the face of the Iroko tree that the spirit talks. And then the second one that is going, going, going along with it, possibly the, the bodyguard, he keeps responding to it. Oh, 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 oh. And then the main spirit, you know, keeps uh, giving its information and warning and moving on. Why the bodyguard, which is also another spirit, just keeps responding. Oh, 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 oh. Then when he, even, when he even says, hmm, 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 he responds to oh, 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 oh. <laughs> So that's what we have going, you know, through the whole song. This, now, that, the, 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 the rhythm matches the gates, okay? Because he's passing along and passing the message. So the rhythm, the melodic rhythm, is more or less accompanying the dance, the, 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 the movement. Of the spirit, so you could tell even when you're not near, you could tell whether it is walking slowly or walking fast. Mm-hmm. That's that's what you know. It tells you. You see the, the movement, okay, uh, in the in, in the melody, you know, the, suggesting the movement. Uh, this particular spirit manifest, you can see, is going alone with uh, a bodyguard. Okay, that's why I'm suspecting that it's a night spirit. Okay, it is not the type that you would want to see, okay? Except for those who are initiated, who can come out to either pay you know, homage or to encourage knowing what the spirit is doing there, okay? As a society police. This, this, some of these things you know, define the, 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 the bounds of what you can do as an ethnomusicologist, okay? There are some uh, of your research areas that you don't have the permission to witness directly. So you have to go through a research assistant who either is an initiate, okay, who will be able to give you information. And the most we could get was a sound of the, the mong, but we, we, we couldn't you know, identify what it looks like. We may only imagine by the name Ayaka, it must, it must be something that has this grotesque, you know, <laughs> you know, image. 